guys it's Sam Beck Sam back at it again with another tutorial this time I did like a, a clown look it is um, I, I was kind of inspired because you know how it's been going on with all the clown spottings and everything they're all freaking scary like clowns freak me the fuck out so I was like well instead of doing a scary one should I do a glam one you know so this is what I came up with, um, really, I have no costume for this, so if you want to find out how I did this look, I'm watching, bitches. First I'm going to go ahead and start with my Morphe blender brush, and I'm going to go ahead and use Rimmel foundation, it's a matte foundation, I love it. I'm going to go ahead and just dot it in the center of my face, I'm not going to be too worried about the outer covering the whole face because it's going to be covered anyways. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my Maybelline concealer and I'm going to go ahead and highlight. Now I realize I really didn't need to do this step just because that those areas are going to be covered. It's just out of habit. So you can go ahead and skip this part if you like. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend it. And I'm gonna set it also and this is I didn't show it I'm using the mercy lower mercy uh, brightening powder then I'm gonna go in with a brow brush with Anastas Anastasia's um, pomade and chocolate and this is me just defining the brow and I'm gonna go in with the fantasy palette from Walmart it's it's in the Halloween section I'm just gonna use the purple and I'm just gonna go ahead and pretty much cover some of the brown I just didn't want it to be too purple and you can't notice my brows so that helped a little bit the Anastasia pomade then I'm gonna go ahead and define it with my little definer brush it's a real techniques brush and then I'm just same thing I'm gonna put I lay down the concealer first and then I just go ahead and carve that out And the reason why I do this is just mostly if I want to clean it up. It really helps to take care of that. Then I'm going to go in with the blender brush. Just a blender brush. A concealer brush. And blend that out. Then I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just to prime my eyelids. Because my eyelids can't be taking that oil. It really helps to make sure the eyeshadows pop too. And I'm just blending that. Then I'm going to go in with um, Free Spirit in the Tartlet palette. And I'm just going to set my eyelids with that bad boy. Just helps with blending the other colors on top. Especially when you want the colors to like blend, of course. Then I'm going to go in the Lower Art Pro palette. And I'm going to click Mar- Ugh, click. I'm going to use this color Snow for my brow bone I'm just gonna blend it out so the line is not sharp then I'm gonna go back in that same palette and use the color nectar and that's gonna be my transition shade then I'm gonna go into the Tarlet palette again for that pinker tone and I'm just gonna add that with that same nectar color just to add some dimension then I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm gonna choose that cranberry color. And I'm not gonna go too high where I put the transition colors, just in the corners of the eye. Also in the inner corner, I'm gonna do a spotlight eyeshadow. So I'm gonna leave the center of it blank. Then I'm gonna go in with the blender brush with no product on there, just to blend it more. Then I'm going to go in with a purple with a more detailed brush to define it a little bit better and to deepen it also. And 
really take your time with this just because if you go crazy it's just gonna end up looking like a glob so you kind of want to look back and look back and forth you know it helps when you look in a bigger mirror also because sometimes it looks weird whenever you're, you look back and you're like oh shit okay and I keep going back and di with different uh, brushes as you can see And after you're satisfied, I'm going to go in with that liquid liner. I'm here, I'm using NYC liquid liner. It's my favorite. And I usually start in the beginning of the eye just because you have the most um, product on the brush. And then I just wing it out whenever I have less product. It's just, it's just easier. And I just make my little triangle, flip it in. And I don't know, you can probably tell later, but it gets a little thicker. It's okay if you mess up. Also right here, there's another example of me messing up. Uh, my line wasn't as sharp as I wanted it to be, so I just used some concealer to make sure my lines are extra straight or sharp. And I just blend that out also. Don't forget to blend it. Following that, I'm gonna choose the pink from that little palette. That was in the Halloween section. They're usually in little packages. And here I'm just putting the pink where I would usually put bronzer at. Just to like make a halo effect around my face. Instead of using white, I wanted to use something different. Something different from the usual clown. And here I'm adding a little bit of white and blending it together, both of the colors. It kind of created like a lighter pink within the mid, well, of course, in the middle of those two. And here I'm using the e.l.f. Um, I don't know what kind of brush. I forgot what it was. I think it's a foundation brush. Then I'm just going to make little cheeks. And I'm just doing little circles. You can do them big or small. I decided to do them like not too big. And then I just blend it with my little finger to color the inside of it. And make sure you measure it. Use a little your brush to see where you want to do the dot. And I totally messed up. I don't know if you can tell. I went back and changed it. But it takes a little time to get those centered. But just take your ten. Then I'm going to go in with a little white to also create some dimension in my little cheeks. And also more white again around the face and basically I'm putting the white where where you want to do like the most highlight you want to highlight the the uh, corners of your forehead and your cheekbones and it's a lot of blending but it's okay and I also bring it down to my neck also and I used a little tinier brush just because it, it seemed like it was doing a better job than the other brush. Sometimes you have to keep switching around. Deep brushes. And here I'm using a little um, eyeshadow brush, a little tiny one, definer brush. And I'm using that same cranberry color that I used to define the eye on your eyes. And I'm just making three little lines. Basically, I'm making a little crown. Also, if you mess up and you want your lines to be straighter, just like the liquid eyeliner, I used the concealer to clean it up. And I also made one in the inner corner. And here I'm just making it darker. I'm using a... And here I'm making the little dots, of course. Again, it's a crown. Just upside down. And just made it on, on um, the inner corner also. Then 
Then I also drew some little lines above my eyebrows, like the typical clown, of course. Then I'm using Kat Von D liquid lipstick on my lips. I don't know what color it's called. I know it's red, obviously. <laughs> I just filled that in. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, even though my eyelashes suck and they never curl. And I'm just using a basic, I think it's a CoverGirl uh, mascara, but I don't really care for mascara. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on, also from Walmart. Same package as I got the, the little palettes at. And I chose some really dramatic ones. You don't have to go that crazy, but I want that extra mile. Here, I'm just contouring my nose, but with purple. Just wanted to, my nose to stand out too, and I want it to be left out. Here, I usually would blend it in further, but it's okay. Then I also put the same red that I put on my lips on my nose, just making a little tiny circle. After that, I made sure it was dry and I added a little line. And boom, we're done, just like that. We're totally gonna act like this did not take two hours to do. Whenever someone asks us about your makeup at the Halloween party, like a boss. <laughs>